come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> there yours so, world, world he's, he's the, the man. man i mean this is it's like the sing-along version is the one on youtube right yeah, now yeah yeah <laughs> so it, had, can, it had the highlighting it lyrics does. yeah, oh, it was, yeah, yeah it it's pretty great oh, it goes shit. along you can we sing along with it putting that on our facebook oh, yes, page definitely yeah. yours world lyrics yours yeah. world he's the man karaoke yours world. version He's the man. <laughs> hey, really? Oh, shit. Next karaoke, I'm doing it. <laughs> that and the fucking Ballad of Harry Warden. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, welcome, uh, unsuspecting listener, to the yeah. Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Weren't ready for that, were you? <laughs> to be blasted Yours right off world. the bat. Yours world. Uh, Yours world. Yours world. So thanks for listening uh, on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, TuneIn, iHeart Radio, or wherever you found oh, us. Yeah. Uh, please give us a like. Hit the subscribe button, first of all. Uh, give us a star rating or leave a comment because all of that stuff helps us get found by uh, other folks like-minded, like yourself. Uh, so who are these internet radio superstars who are going to be talking to you tonight? Sean. Michaela. Nick. And I'm Colin, and uh, I suppose also a little bit of housekeeping, I should tell you, you can uh, find us online on social media on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can write to us via email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or find us on uh, Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. So- write us a letter. That's right. Yeah. Let's we, set up a P.O. box and let's have like physical letters. Come that in. would be awesome. <laughs> That's right. Somebody because, would do it. Well, we have to keep. Dom our, would send us one. That, we'll frame would. them and hang them up in the basement. If Dom if sent if Dom sent us a letter, <laughs> I would frame it and put it up in. I this imagine basement. it would cost a lot in postage for him to send a letter, right? That's very true. I would guess. I don't know how much it's cost to send things. A letter. Well, but he's in a, a lot. St- yeah, he's in a well, yeah. separate mail. continent. I don't want to like out him as where he is. I don't think. I don't think they'll find him. I don't think they'll find him. Uh, but Plus we he's will, famous over there. Maybe will, Dom's famous. Maybe, maybe. And we maybe. just don't know. He's Dom a karate warrior. Um, <laughs> he's a, the second. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a he's not the first. He's uh, he's number two. Uh, Damn, I'm calling him out. <laughs> but this is this is all what we're talking about. Is we want to keep our mailman Igor gainfully employed. Mm-hmm. We don't want to have to administer a beating, which happens if he doesn't bring us any mail. We did yeah. it like two weeks ago, didn't we? Yeah, that's right. So, yeah. Yeah. So he's still yeah. healing from the last one. Yeah, we don't want that to happen again, and he doesn't either. So no. write to us, and we'll read uh, your comments later in the show during our Igor's mailbag segment. Otherwise, he'll wander. Mm-hmm. Just wanders when there's no mail. Yeah, he's a very scary little individual. He so, is. You don't want him walking around in your neighborhood. He'll come right. get the mail if you don't. Do <laughs> <laughs> He'll commit federal <laughs> crimes and steal yeah. your mail. So, yeah. uh, he just goes to every post on oh, mail. It's like yeah. the, <laughs> live with that. It's like uh, fucking monster in the closet. Head. He's just walking the streets. <laughs> uh, oh no, I'm not uh, in my closet. <laughs> so what we do? We uh, we watch a movie that's chosen round robin by one of the aforementioned uh, freak showers, and tonight we watch the movie that was chosen by Sean. Just kidding. Yeah. My account. You confused me. Don't do that. I'm like, what? Me? I'm in the seat. I didn't though. choose this shit. No, no. So th- Colin, what do we watch tonight? Uh, tonight we watched a movie called Your. That's Y O R. Mm-hmm. The Hunter from the Future. Mm-hmm. Uh, I uh, subtitle I didn't understand until the very end of this movie. <laughs> so I was wondering if I was, was starting give to it think away. it was never going to pay off. Honestly, I yeah. was like, Why oh, that subtitle future? means nothing. Well, this came to us from the year of our Lord, 1983. 83. And was directed the by... The wigs are from 78. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, They've so been I was... sitting on styrofoam heads since then. Yeah, yeah. They do not move. Yeah. I was uh, deliberately holding the uh, poster art, the box. Now, this is on new on video from uh, Mill Creek Entertainment. Oh, Mill Creek. But have you seen this poster? Uh, only since you've posted it. Yeah, no. Yeah. Never before. Never before. No, I mean, but he mean, just looking at it oh, now, yeah. like... What are you promised by this poster, which shows what? a muscle bound? Yeah, I'm promised UFOs. First of all, that that is that is not those actors in this movie. <laughs> wait, like that wait, does wait. not look like them. I think that might be Reb Brown, but he has completely different hair. Yeah, he does. Completely different hair. Yeah, and- he looks like ten years younger too. That doesn't look like her. <laughs> and that does not look like her. And there's, there's some UFOs. straight up yeah flying so saucer is- UFOs on there. There's UFOs. Yeah. 
What is, and there's pterodactyls. There's no pterodactyls in this movie. <laughs> We're wandering into that, that lying territory again no, with DVD covers. It was a moth. Right? It was a moth yeah, gigantic yeah. moth. Mothra. Mothra. Mm -hmm. uh, shows up for a hot minute and then dies and well we'll get to that <laughs> yeah well okay so this movie uh comes to us from uh, it's an italian film no i couldn't so, tell from the dubbing the, uh, <laughs> Jesus. Well, okay so this is the thing i have been slowly over a period of years uh, exposing watching every italian to... movie ever made <laughs> because there's a certain magic like there <laughs> nobody makes bad movies as entertaining as the Italians, the Italians did, true. especially in this period of time, from like the late middle 70s to the mid 1980s. That's very true. Where they seem to draw heavily from, let's see, maybe like three movies in particular. I would say Dawn of the Dead, mm -hmm. um, Mad Max, mm -hmm. and Conan the Barbarian. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, I think there's a little bit of Star Wars and you know sure. a little bit of Escape from New York in there, sure. but like those movies specifically seem to have generated like every title in the Italian film industry from like this period of time. Because even in 1983, you want to know how many Italian <laughs> movies came out? Like, listen to this: there was Conquest from Lucio Fulci. Uh, okay, Thor the Conqueror. Oh, Jesus, Hercules with oh. Lou Ferrigno. Seen that one? A tour. I thought it was a tour. A it's tour. like it's a tour. The a Fighting tour. Eagle and its sequel, a tour. The uh, the Blade Master, <laughs> nice. uh, Iron Master, the Barbarians, and then also you had like 2019 after the fall of New York, 1990, the Bronx after Warriors, the fall Escape from the Bronx. <laughs> oh et boy, etc. Oh yeah, <laughs> dear lord, the Italians yes. are just fucking ripoff artists, man. Yeah, I mean for the longest time. And can they continue to do so to this day. Well, they were, there was a lot of, well, what are they doing now? It's like the. Oh, come back to me on that one. Cause yeah, I'm just. They have like the Italian superhero movies or something. And it's like, I don't know if they're, I think, what is the Italian film industry now? Yeah, me. Like if they're doing anything, I don't know. This was the heyday, the, the, the greatest years in, in uh, so. Italian. So the longer Cinema. I work at this, look at this video box, the worse it gets. <laughs> the there's like a it. kind of a huge Photoshop error on this. She's got her hand like wrapped around his knee, but there is no arm connected to that hand in any way. <laughs> what? Look at that. Look at her hand. Look at her hand and then look at her body. There's like. That's not good. <laughs> yeah. And she's got like, it's in on his, it's like pulling it's his the, leg it's in. The inside, it's inside, her hand's on the inside of his leg. Yeah. But there's no arm. It's not good. Nope. No, nope. take a look at that. Take a look a little that closer at that. That is kind it's of not great. Uh, oh, it's supposed to be hidden behind her massive mane of hair. But I think. there's, oh, sure. but you just see a hand, and you don't even see her shoulder or anything. You see nothing on that side yeah. of her body. When, when you first asked, have you seen this cover up before? I'm like, yeah, it looks like National Lampoon's Vacation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slash yeah. Star Wars. This is a poster from a major movie company. This is Columbia Pictures put this thing out. My God. Wow. Yeah, Columbia Pictures. The same actual, people responsible for do they, <laughs> Ghostbusters? Uh, in 1983, they were also responsible for, I think, Crawl might have been theirs. It seems, uh, having not seen Crawl, it's Space feels Hunter. Similar. Adventures in the Forbidden Zone was also theirs. <laughs> oh, oh, and the next year, Sheena, the Queen of the Jungle oh, with yeah. Tiny Roberts, yeah. which that should be on uh, the, the free show list. I knew a woman named Sheena once. What? Yeah. Well, Her name was Sheena. Sheena Easton, so. Is, well, it was. I did not know Sheena Easton. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, eventually we're going to get through all these. What do you guys think of the Italian films that you've seen so far? I mean, I've never not been entertained. I'll say no. that. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Cemetery Man. I was oh. not entertained uh, by that. That's a late okay. era. Italian that's fine. But yeah. Yeah, you, you, true, what was that? Yeah. Was that 90s something? Yeah. That was in the 90s. Yeah, yeah maybe that was 90s. not entertaining. 90s, <laughs> maybe 90s Italian. That's yeah. uh, not good. Yeah. yeah. Before the 90s, it's all. It's fine. Earlier than it's that. It's fine, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And pretty always identifable because Yeah. What's the dubbing? I, I, I want to well, that's what I'm wondering. I want to know what this movie was before it got dubbed. I want to know what these people said before it was dubbed over. Because it, the dubbing comes in in really random places. It's not all across the board. It's in certain areas right. a lot and then other areas there's none. So it, Yeah, some spots you see. Yeah. There's words. that one scene where the guy his mouth wasn't moving the entire scene. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they dubbed into it. Yeah. It's like, what? what? You're just making shit up? Well, that's the other thing, too. I think uh, I keep pointing this out when we watch these movies, but eventually you're going to get an ear for it. There are certain voice actors. Oh, yeah? Who appear in like, all of these movies. <laughs> yeah. There's the guy, 
I don't know, fans of uh, Lucio Fulci's Zombie, uh, you know, there's the the captain of the boat, the guy with the, the yeah. beard. Mm-hmm. His voice is in this. He's oh, like yeah? one of the technicians or whatever at the end of the, of the movie. Oh, I'm like, wonderful. that guy is in fucking every goddamn Italian movie that there is. The way I figure it, in the 70s and 80s, there were 20 Italians making movies, and that's it. That's that's directors, writers, and voiceover talent. I think there's less. I think there's like five guys. <laughs> yeah. There's Lucio <laughs> Fulci, be. Enzio Castellari. I'm butchering this. Sergio Martino. Uh, oh, God. Uh, Rugger, Rigerto Deodato. Well, he's like doing the cannibal movies. No, he did some of the like Escape from the Bronx yeah. type yeah. Uh, stuff, too. Yeah. Dominic De Coco. Dominic Coco. I couldn't find out if he was a real guy or not, but you know, uh, Margarete. Enzo, uh, <laughs> Margarete. Well, the other guy, uh, Gorlami. Oh, yeah. Enrico Gorlami. <laughs> that, okay, so uh, we're talking about Quentin Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards yes. here, right? This is where these names became like uh, entered pop culture yes. for us. Um, and it's, I think it's Enrico or Enzio Gorlami mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. an actual, that's a, that's the name of, Enzio Castellari, Castellari, oh god, I'm fucking Jesus, his name man. up, Castellari or something. Uh-huh. He's the guy who directed the original Inglorious Bastards, okay, or a movie called Inglorious Bastards in the late sure. '60s, early '70s. Yeah, Antonio Margaretti. <clears throat> this is where we're going down a rabbit hole, right? If you've been okay. listening to this show, uh, we did a movie called The Green Slime a we couple did. of weeks ago, where there was a connection to Antonio Margaretti, uh, the director. In that, um, because he had done a series of science fiction movies set on a fictional uh, space station, and the green slime oh, right. was like, like phase the, three or what? what is uh, it called? Uh, gamma, gamma three, gamma three. Yeah, it was gamma three. <clears throat> and green slime was set on gamma four. Okay, <laughs> yeah, it's a shared universe. Yes, yes, it's all Whoa. connected. <laughs> so Antonio Margaretti was one of the, he directed one of the first science fiction movies in Italy way back in the 60s. But then he continued to work doing things like Castle of Blood with Barbara Steele. He did Cannibal Apocalypse, because everybody had to do their, with John Saxon in 1980. <laughs> they had to do the cannibal movies and their apocalypse movies, and sometimes mm-hmm. they did both yep. in one. <laughs> yeah, well, let's say that was how you yeah. meld them. Because they yeah. started off as zombie movies, and yep. then they kind of mm-hmm. moved to, like, we would just go straight yeah. gore straight up, yeah. mm-hmm. and go into the... Uh, the cannibal movie. Mm-hmm. He did Killer Fish with Lee Majors and Farrah Fawcett. That seems lazy, just calling it Killer Fish. Well, Piranha had already come out. So, you know, it's like we got to do. Uh, but Antonio Margaretti was notable because he was the only Italian director who worked with major American movie studios. He worked with MGM, United Artists, 20th Century Fox, and Columbia Pictures. And when he made movies uh, in um, America, he changed his name to Antonio M. Dawson, the director of your Hunter from the Future. Oh! So this is an Antonio Margaretti movie. Oh, shit. <laughs> Margaretti. Yeah, oh, my God. Him. Colin just went all the way around. <laughs> I'm like, where the fuck's yeah, he going like, with this? Full, full circle. Full, full circle. circle. Right. God damn it. Antonio and Bravo. Dawson. Full circle. Bravo. Well done. That's right. Little so this is a Margaretti movie. It is. This yes. Is a, this is uh, his wow. most successful movie. It made like $2 million Ooh. at the box office. Oh, shit. <laughs> It was nominated for three Razzie Awards. Can you guess what for? Oh, picture. Worst on screen couple. Actor. Actor. Script? Nope. Is it picture? He didn't say yes. No, I'm surprised, actually. You're not going with this one, like, right off the bat. Worst song. (laughs) Well, I think the song is one of the strengths of the movie. How dare they? How dare you, Razzies? Yeah. How dare you? Come yeah. on. We all got a kick out of the song. Yeah. yeah. If worst it, song. God, and worse score. But, you know. have, well, sh- there was no score. It's just this movie. There was, no score, it was, just this movie. Yeah. There was but yeah. it was like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It was goofy, weird but synth here and there. Synth yeah. every yeah. now and again. How can you, how dare you? Yeah. Fuck you, Razzies. <laughs> you know, this, when a movie from this era has a song in a its name, song. a theme song. That says the character's name in it. Right? Yeah. Two great levels up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes it better. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what is your about? What is what the hell are we talking about with this movie? You've been well, with us so far. Sorry yeah, for this whole the lengthy, he lives in a uh, cave. Yeah, ventures out every now and again. He's well. He looks like He Man. He Man right? does. That's yeah. What I, when I be... seen the the poster that you posted on Facebook, I'm like, what is is this supposed to be a He Man ripoff? Then I started thinking, I'm like, He Man. What He Man was eighty four. Uh, right? Masters of the Universe was eighty seven. Oh, you mean the toys? Yeah. 
Let's say yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's say like 84, 85, somewhere yeah. around there. But did you see, did I post that, the painted poster that was on, like, there's a there was a DVD, I think, of this that came out. They had like this painted poster. And on it, it's got like, it looks like fucking He-Man. Yeah. Like, uh, you oh, know, yeah. he's got the same, you know, the, mm-hmm. the gold hair. He has the hair, hair yeah. yeah. It's yeah. the same hair, yeah. He has the fur boots and everything. Yeah. He look just like He-Man. Mm-hmm. Was He-Man based on your? No, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I just no. watched uh, <laughs> on, on Netflix. Say. They have uh, the toys that made us, mm-hmm. and I watched no. the the Masters of the Universe. Uh, nice. Episode, and they didn't mention yours. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's so no, bad. the downside with all those toys is that it ends up that they're they just had like other torsos and stuff like laying around, mm-hmm. and then yep. they just scu- you know added clay to them to mm-hmm. make the mold and sculpted them out of something mm-hmm. else. Um. Yeah, it's kind of disheartening when you find out like where these things come from. It's like, oh, we could switch the head and change the color of the body and all that. And you got that's actually a, a way um, movies get around copyrights a lot of the times too. Is like they'll take Jingle All the Way is famous for this. Is that they will take two licensed toys, like say you got like a Superman and like Iron Man, right? If you switch the heads or like switch the arms on them, then it's not the same character, so it doesn't fall under the copyrights. So uh, a lot of times how we they got will, Turbo Man. So yeah, I mean, kind of yeah. So like that's a lot of times they will do that to avoid copyrights. Wow. So. Well, and that works. It's amazing that all mm-hmm. you have to do is swap the heads and you go. Yep. It's a completely different character. I don't know what you're talking about. You can't <laughs> prove that that was the same guy. Um, but yeah, okay, so this is a... Uh, that one? Yeah. Is that the yeah, one? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, that's yeah, fucking that's He-Man. It. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Look at that shit. Yeah. That one right there. Yep, that's the like He-Man. Yep. Even like the He-Man cod piece and everything, yeah. He's mm-hmm. got that hair where it's like perfectly like cut right down to here. Yeah. The He-Man, like the loincloth. Mm-hmm. This is a loincloth movie. There's a lot of ass this, in this movie. There's more, yeah, yeah I was going to say, it's like He-Man but more thong. Yeah. There's like a surprising <laughs> amount of ass for like, because of the director... Antonio Margarete, Margarete. Uh, chooses to shoot a lot of dramatic low angles, but he then does. his actors are always running across the, the camera <laughs> line. Yeah. And you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Asshole. A lot over. of ass. Yeah. Like from the get go. Like from the the, yeah, the credits turned, are not even over yeah, yet right? and you're seeing ass. It's like, oh, like, he turned around too quick. <laughs> <laughs> Stop doing that. Anytime there's a slight breeze, you're seeing some ass in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, hey. Yeah. which I'm, Sometimes good, sometimes so, bad. It's an element of realism, I guess, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I guess. Back then, you couldn't afford good, clean drawers you wore. <laughs> I can't imagine in the really filming well. of this movie, for as much rock as there is in this movie, that any of this feeling was comfortable for these actors oh, and actresses. I, I cringed a couple of times as guys are sliding down these sliding rocks. Down things. Like, Ooh, just in ouch. general, walking around, it looks like they're going to fall down and just they'll be done for weeks <laughs> and just hurt themselves and bruises all over the place. And oh, there was one shit. one scene where the old dude who's in a part of yours party... Who uh, was like, thankfully wearing more clothing than most other people. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> st- but even so, yeah. there was a part where he sat down on, on a rock that looked like it had yeah. like Ooh. a very jagged... Uh-huh. Uh, He's sticking straight up the top of it, but hey, man. Know. that's that low budget. He filmmaking. didn't sit down and go like, "Oh shit!" Or maybe he's like a really dedicated <laughs> actor. He's like, Ugh, oh, "I'm just gonna hold." He's thing. like, "Oh, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it. I'm angry in this scene. I'm angry." It also looked really dry. Like I just imagine they all have nosebleeds constantly from like how dry it is. Uh, did you see like, in the end where they shot this? No, I we we were wondering out loud the whole time yeah. we were watching it where the fuck this was I shot at. I saw it. Say, well, like it's Italian, so I'm like, is this somewhere in Italy? And I know that. The, the, like is Italy the that rocky? I don't think so. I don't and think the, so the landscape is like, did they shoot like a lot of westerns here? Is this like, but I think it said Turkey. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. I don't know. We, right. this is yeah, weird we all say, oh, okay. We all know nothing know. about Turkey. <laughs> yeah. We don't know what it looks like or how, yeah. what it is, but you know what? It makes sense. A lot of sandy I'm desert. Like, that could be Turkey. Yeah. Uh, pale looking rocks and Dick rocks. ocean. Dick, Dick rocks. rocks. They are, they are, yeah, like National rocks. Park or wherever they yeah. 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 It's like towers of dick shaped rocks. It's yeah. like Europe's in, version of Utah. But in that area, there was like uh, those like, huts and stuff that were on top of the rocks. It yeah. seemed like they were, you know, like real, maybe. Yeah. And not like built by the. Like the they movie found company. some shit. That place was strange. We'll, we'll get into it, but. Okay, so who, who was your. Hunter of the Future. <laughs> okay, so yours a man. He doesn't know where That's he's it. from. Is that where we're going with we? you? Yeah. 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 Oh, he yeah. Just he shows just, up. He just jumps out of a cave every morning. He's like, uh, yeah. I'm your. And runs. I'm going to be the your today. Credits. And then he just runs in circles. Yeah. yeah. And this oh. is the... F- How long do you think your has lived in this cave? Uh, just, yeah, well, good question. Oh, because this is the first time, probably within walking distance, that he's met this whole tribe of people. 
All right. That's what I thought the first time I saw this. Uh-huh. Oh, and you were asking. The first time I saw this, I had it on, like, in the background. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I wasn't yeah, actually paying attention. how did you come attention. across this well, movie? Well, it's kind of like the way that I imagine that, you know, you, you experienced drive-in movies back in the day where you had other things going on in the car. <laughs> <laughs> you look out the window and something's happening. Colin, I've my... only ever been to the drive-in with you, so I've never uh, had that experience. <laughs> in the heyday of the... <laughs> but, uh... This time they explained it that yeah. the tribe, I think they have like a line of dialogue or something that says like, oh, we finally come to this valley and finally found it. But oh, uh, you so know, they that's were, why they're so they were a moving uh, tribe. OK. Yeah, and that's why they're going hunting. And uh, what are they doing? Hunting and celebrating. And, hunting yeah, and lifting their children up. Yeah. yeah that was Senya. weird. <laughs> yeah. And then they just set them back down. Yeah. They're just that like, was it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the looks on the kids' face were like, uh, what are we doing? Uh, <laughs> don't look at the camera. Don't look at the camera. <laughs> yeah. I don't like this. Mm-hmm. So he's a guy, a fair-haired, muscular fellow, who has a uh, amulet. Uh, amulet? It's a um, medallion. A medallion. A medallion, that's, that's a better way to say it. A golden medallion with mm-hmm. some kind of strange uh, symbols on it. And uh, he's had that since birth, but he doesn't know anything about himself. Because he has no people. Mm-mm. He has no people. Also, yeah. How did he huh. get raised? Yeah, that's what I was Did he wondering. just pop into existence? Like like Tarzan, he's been... Up, no, because Tarzan was raised by... Something. The gorillas yeah. or the, the wolves gorillas or something like yeah. that. Yeah. I think it was gorillas. I don't think there were many wolves in that movie. <laughs> More gorillas. Yeah, but he's got like all his fighting skills and all that. Somebody had to train right. him. Right. You know? He's uh, an exceptional human being. Yeah, he's I think that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, based on his... Origins, which we eventually uh, come to understand as the movie goes on, but he okay, need, so he needed a, like a morning montage where he just wakes up in the morning, he's like, "Oh, I'm your," and then he's just like, <laughs> "Your," like, like, yeah, like a Rocky training montage. <laughs> no, yeah. more so like set to that song. You know when yeah. Pee Wee Herman wakes up in the morning and everything. Yeah. Goes, that's yeah. more what I imagine, where he's getting ready for the day. Yep. And breakfast comes and slides well, in. Well, see, yeah. I imagine that what happens to him on this day is kind of how his day goes all the time. All because the- <laughs> he's running around out and, you know, just like going for his morning run, right? Across sure. With his axe in hand. It's like yeah. a, a tiptoe. It feels like a morning tiptoe. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like, yeah. don't twist my ankles on these yeah. rocks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not wearing much. I don't want to fall down. It was, it was <laughs> That's what it feels looking. like. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. Well, he comes upon he's a, very a, gentle uh, man. Uh, a, a fair woman and old man being attacked by a, uh, what would we call this? This is a triceratops. It's some, yeah. Which, okay, hold on. I got to break this scene down a little bit here. Cause <laughs> first of all, we see like a tiny dinosaur in oh, the yeah. brush. What you think oh, that was? No, it's a, there, you can see in the top down shot, it's a pig. It's a pig. You with see a the whole height on? of the pig exposed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you see, it's a tiny little pig, which I was like, oh no, I don't want to know there's real animals in this movie because yeah. this is the 80s, so you know they were not taken care yeah. of appropriately. Um, They're just like, like, shoot it quick. What doesn't make any sense is like, so this little pig's wearing this costume, meant, and then like the tail of the triceratops comes in and like slaps Mama. the pig over. Yeah. Why? Um, I was why going. Does that I, mean, I, was, I thought it would be like, oh, I'm coming in to protect my baby. Yeah, but, but it slaps like, the pig. Touch over. my baby now, it has to die. And then, <laughs> and then it turns around to attack. Yeah, the, yeah. the woman and the old man. I, yeah. I didn't understand why that was happening at all. Uh, dinosaurs are very angry back in the. Uh, it just slaps 80s. its own young around. It's just <laughs> like, yeah. It's just those a, those a dinosaur creature of destruction uh, yeah. coming through. Yeah. They just didn't care. Yeah. yeah, it's very bloody when it gets because Yor, of course, jumps into the fray. Stand back, I'll get this, and uh, gives get it a couple man. whacks yeah. with its. Oh, he's doing like all these acrobatic flips. Oh yeah, and he's stuff jumping like... over horns and <laughs> right. side to side. He's wrestling. Yeah, with he's it. doing like um, vaulting jumps over the mm-hmm. over the horns. Well, we say this because the dinosaur is actually there in the scene yeah. with Yor. This is not some like stop motion shit that no. we may have seen before. It looks like paper mache, though. It looks it definitely delicate. yes. Yeah, it yeah. definitely is. I mean, it looks like it has some weight because when it topples mm-hmm. over, it goes kathunk. But you know, I mean, it's like it tears is, no problem though. Yeah, like <laughs> this is not Jurassic Park. This is some kind of gigantic, uh, like, you know, frame covered it's with... second only to Jurassic Park. Well, yeah, Jurassic so. Park was only 10 years after this. <laughs> <laughs> Holy yeah, let, think about that for a second. Oh, hold on. I got to compute that <laughs> yeah. one in my brain. Oh, my God. All right. Yeah, because what were they doing in, like... We've well, come a long way. Uh, Return of the Jedi was the same year as this. Mm-hmm. And they used stop motion for the, the Rancor. Rancor, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's maybe a giant hand that they used mm-hmm. for real... To hold Mark oh, yeah, Hamill. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They would have had to, yeah. Mm-hmm. They could do that. Yeah. 
So mm-hmm. the Italians are like, How fuck that shit. We're actually going to do it for real. We're going to have a monster in the shot with the guy. How much nerd cred do you think we get for knowing that it was called a Rancor? <laughs> Anybody else know that? I was never that? known that. Yeah, I knew that, that one. That. Nope. Mm-hmm. And die hard uh, Star Wars fans right there. Uh, or you had the toy? Mm-hmm. No. no. I remember. I remember Played for, the video game? No, uh, no. It was from, uh, I remember the commercials for the toys. Oh, okay. And them mm-hmm. saying it the in the Rancor commercial. The monster. Yeah. Yeah. Look out, Luke. We're going to be lunch for the Rancor. <laughs> <laughs> that was the fucking commercial for that. So do you think they just had like balloons full of fake blood taped underneath the paper mache for when he hacks it with his axe oh, and it like leaks it was, out? I thought it was pretty decent when uh, when he was hacking into it. But. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right? that part was the probably because it best. bleeds yeah. like crazy for a yeah. P- uh-huh. rated, movie rated PG. It's like right. they wouldn't do blood like that in a movie anymore. No, mm. no. that's the Italians. <laughs> I mean, that's also you know the eighties early. That's the early rating system because there yeah. was fucking a lot of blood and jaws, and that fucker was PG. That's true. Yeah, and when he started hacking into, it, I was like, oh man, this is gonna be one of these nice bloody movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So Oh, shit. All right. Oh, no. is that. <laughs> well, the Italian version is uh, 98 minutes. So this like one's a full nine minutes longer. So yeah. who what, knows what, 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 what takes place in those? Uh, oh, my God. Yeah. I'm sure it's more action figure swinging or boat rowing or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, action! That's, that's the, right, that's, listener. That's a good poke. Action figure swinging, boat rowing—it has it all. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where you don't have Jesus. CG, and apparently your model work is uh, you have stone work. Yeah, uh-huh. they, you no just use uh, action figures, which I thought maybe oh it was at, like a He-Man, but the it He-Man probably, wasn't yeah, out yet. He-Man oh, wasn't man. out. Yet. But it oh, sure shit. looks like a fucking oh, He-Man. Like sure. they're they're doing a rope swing at one point in this movie, and we are That's not it. kidding. It is it's an action it's figure. Action figures, yeah. and it's so good. Like there's a dude. He's he's <laughs> at a certain point he's waiting for the guy to swing over to him, and he's just like, "Well, when when did action Co- figure hands up? When did Conan come out then?" Uh, eighty two. It was the year before this. All right. Was it eighty two? Eighty one? I know they did. They did have a. Li- they had a line of uh, Conan oh, figures, which oh, they, which be. they made. Th- the Conan figures were the ones that they molded into He-Man figures. Oh, well, there it is. There you go. Plus, I mean, it's got to be it. Conan yeah, makes his else, appearance they, in they found, uh, your Hunter from the yeah, Beach. They found the, the closest action figure they could find mm-hmm. and just painted or molded and cut things off and shaped it to what because you know they're you're not you're giving them a lot of credit here I'm, I'm not I, sure I, they I did that much they're, they're not great shots but <laughs> oh my god you're making it sound like there was an art department that worked on that and I, uh, I, I, yeah. the writer the chuzpa Chuz, huzpa the huzpa the, the hu- of these um, you know special effects guys um so yeah, so basically, Yor is uh, he's introduced into the uh, village, and the main plot is set up at this point. They're like he doesn't know who his people are, but the folks in this village recognize the medallion that he wears has been worn. They've seen this woman who lives in the caves mm-hmm. and over the mountains, right? Who has a similar medallion? Yeah. And so Yor wants to go and see if uh, fire woman right came down in fire or something like that, right? So he's got to go find her. Yep. After he seduces, well, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the ongoing. I'm so seduced. All right, this is the go, ongoing. Uh, is it a joke in the movie or something? <laughs> I mean, no, 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 no. This is no joke. Yeah, I mean, this is a, 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 an adolescent fantasy film, right? This <laughs> is aimed oh, squarely sure. at twelve-year-old boys. To be the boys. hero, and women are just presented to you. Yeah, this yeah. is an adolescent. <laughs> Uh, dream. Yeah, but what was her name? The main Kala. Kala. Thank you very Kalo. much. Kala. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it, it sounded was, like that. Yeah. Like it's Kala. Kala. Wow. I thought Kala. it was maybe like Carla with the R missing or something like that. Like Kala. Kala. What? No. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, all you, the names are goofy. What you said goofy. is technically true. What was, the, what was the old guy's name? Peck. Pag. 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 Of course. Pag. 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 Your Kala and Pag. It's never a good sign when you can't, you don't have like a well pronounceable uh, name for your character. Conan's pretty good, right? Oh, come on. What's That's easier like, than one? your? Your. Your. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> They're brothers. <laughs> Did we already mention the uh, gore uh, movies? The gore! Outlaw, See, Outlaw, your gore, gore and gore itself. Your uh, gore and ball. <laughs> Italian cinema of the 1970s. <laughs> I'll fucking read that book. <laughs> we got to write it. Um, okay. okay, so uh, there's also... Um, so this becomes like an Odyssey movie, right? Basically. Uh, as we travel over the hills and far away. And through the woods. Because the, the, the village is burned immediately by these like purple, hairy, like wolfmen... Mm-hmm. Barbarian 
Purple Follows. people eaters. Mm-hmm. Basically. Very hairy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, like, some of the worst, like, wig, hair, yeah. body hair work ever, probably. Were they wearing clothes or was that their hair? I think they were wearing furs. Yeah. Okay. And then their whole head was mostly covered. It looked like the Lon Chaney Wolfman. Or yeah. Something. It, it, it really did. did. Yeah. Just yeah. not well done. Right. <laughs> right. And there's no, uh, like, wolf prosthetics or anything like no. that on yeah. it. It's just the hair. Yeah. yeah. If they just did the hair. Yes. Because this is, I guess, the, for the first half of the movie, anyway, the main antagonist is the leader of this uh, barbarian horde clan thing that's uh, chasing your because he wants <laughs> yours women. Because your they just keep flinging themselves at your. <laughs> He's got to he, beat him. He off has the all stick. the women. Yeah, we must get him. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense from their perspective. I get why they're doing what they're doing. You know, giving a, a, no, going like after going after him. Like sure, you know. Like, you oh, take him down. What other option do they have? Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> like, they have to come yeah, to us. Exactly. <laughs> well, we, we, there's your, and then there's us. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. So we just take them out. Get rid of the Look competition. Got to get rid of the. And competition I'm sure they're like, sure. there's more of us. There's one of him. We can do it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, it's got to be. But yeah. nobody can take down your. This guy is just like. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know. Uh, so force like of human. nature. Yeah. He he's like can, a heroic man. He fights with <laughs> flaming swords. Uh, it's later on in the fire cave, right? I'm glad somebody finally started fighting with flames. Because, yeah. boy, we missed some opportunities early on. Yeah. God damn it. When a lot of fake Kala outs. gets taken away. Yeah. But yeah. he gets to rescue her in a fantastic sequence where she and I think the it's the other women from the village, right? Are kept in the cages in a cave, right? By the uh, the troglodyte men. Mm. And Yor is is trying to figure out how to get in there. And at that moment, uh, a giant creature flies over. <laughs> oh, man. It's some kind of dragon. It's a mothodactyl. Or moth, because <laughs> it's very hairy. It's very hairy. It's, it's so fuzzy, yeah. yeah. A very fuzzy giant moth, which is some kind of god or something like that. I can't remember what the old yes, dude said. The god is flying around. Old dude is the master with the bow and arrow, and he brings it down with one amazing shot, right? Did he, he does that a lot. Didn't, did he? He, didn't Yor shoot him down? I'm pretty sure Yor took the yeah, bow and Yor, shot him Yor down. Got him. I think Yor well, shot him I mean, because Yor's like, okay. I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> that old glide guy. in like a fucking superhero. <laughs> that old guy is great. one hitter quitter, though, man. He gets everybody with one hit, yeah. though, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, he is great. Yeah. Yeah. Dead shot over Except here. Except for the time that we were expecting him. He runs up with, uh, at some point, with a torch. It was, no. He's, like, out of fire. I figured it out. It was, <laughs> it was nighttime. <laughs> he needed it to see. <laughs> 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 That's why he brought the flame. You say nighttime with like the biggest finger quotes ever, right? Because like yes. the day, the day for night shooting. Daylight. Though this would explain what was going on there, because it reads like he's going to bring it up there and then dip the tips yeah. of the, mm-hmm. the 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 arrows in it, and this is going to be the, amazing. And the arrows are like they have like twine and shit on the end of them, yeah, which make it look like he could light that shit on fire, yeah. and fuck these dudes up. But no, no, it's just no. so he can light his no, way. No, we have in no stunt people. Day, no. A day for night. No, no stunt people budget. on this movie. No, yeah. can't do it. Well, thank God the fucking giant uh, moth creature was thank because Lord. because of this. Because we're sitting there going like, "Well, what's going on?" Your hand glides into the, the best. I- into the cave on so the good. moth corpse. That it's was so good. that was so awesome. It's the greatest thing ever. Yeah, he I, glides I, in and then just lets it go, and it right. flies into other dudes, and then he just fucked. I marked out up. pretty good for that one. That was did pretty it, fun. Did the thing light on fire when it? I can't remember now. It didn't. No, it just. It was the other, other cave. Dudes. It was the dude fell down in like a. Pool of water that must have been gasoline. Yes, because it immediately whole... went up. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's all that uh, from the underground. All the gases are coming up through the water. And mm-hmm. that, sure, sure. In the land sure, of Sean. the disease. I'm man. going by their science. <laughs> <laughs> this is accurate to them. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. I'm trying was... to live in their world. <laughs> I don't think there was another uh, giant creature at this point because I'm like, this is where the movie's got to have like the Rock Man. Or the yeah. uh, like the, a rock golem or something, yeah. yeah. Or the yeah. sea, uh, the sea lizard or something, or the water lizard or something like that. Something. That's gotta come up. Like no, yeah, they should be like running into different elemental monsters. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Why did why when they took the boat? Why was there not a sea creature attacking right. them? Right, that would have been why, awesome. Why, why not just a giant sea creature? That's an opportunity missed. Yeah, yeah. And not a, in the and budget. A budget no. squandered. They yes. could have done like. Two people holding sticks with tentacles on them attacking the boat. <laughs> that would have been it. Yeah. And it that would have totally fit in with this movie. And that would right? yeah, that would have been better than the, yeah. than the, the fucking horribly close up edited storm. storm. Yeah. 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 Your Yeah. Yeah. There were some uh live eels, I think, maybe. 
It felt yeah. like it. Yeah. This That's is a movie. Part. Okay, so there's a moment where like Yor runs up to the old dude and's like, "What's with all that smoke down there?" And the guy's like, "It's because of the vapors that are rising up from under the you know wherever. This is where the fire god lives." And like, you know, is that why it's all? Uh, I can see the flame. We don't actually see any of this. It's just like this. These two guys talking about yeah. something that we should actually have. Because uh, I'm like. Did I did I miss the shot nope. where they actually showed the the smoke nope. or fire? What are we talking about? No, they got there and they're just like it's not coming up today. <laughs> yeah, can't shoot it. I'm at least glad that they actually did put the effort into the paper mache monsters. I mean, if you can't have smoke, mm-hmm. you know, at least you can do that. At but least. he does meet the uh, the this blonde woman who also has the medallion. Oh yeah. And she looks just like him with a different wig. Like mm-hmm. her bone structure and her face and everything looks very similar to him. Just mm-hmm. well, then he's a very attractive hair. man. And she has a uh, interesting loincloth also. <laughs> they I, all yeah. do. Is that the point of making these movies, right? To I mean, get people yeah. running around in loincloths. Yeah, everybody's in very skimp. I mean, like, because imagine the budget. Mm-hmm. Like, what do you have to do for costuming? You take something and rip it up, and you can make, like, six costumes out of it, because, like, you just cover your naughty yeah, one bits. one fur coat things. covers yeah, your yeah. cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. That's very true. Yeah, and then you it's just efficient. shoot outdoors. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. Every once in a while, you have to build a shanty town or something like yeah, that, a little hut. Like, yeah. Did you notice the, like, varying, like, degrees of tans on some of the actors? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, you could tell, especially towards the end, some of them have been out in the sun a long, long time <laughs> compared to yeah, earlier even on. Yours was just like, ooh. He had some you're serious tan lines too. Later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. Yours is what's going to kill you. Did he? Whatever happened to Reb Brown? He's Reb, still around. I don't. There's a commentary on this He's Blu-ray. He's still around. Still alive. He's still alive. Without the skin cancer. Yeah. Do you as far know as I know, <laughs> what Reb Brown is most famous for aside from your? I think I do. Yor. Captain America. America. Yeah, that's what's going to see Captain America in the seventies. The TV special. He may have been the first oh, he did. actor to play yeah. Captain With the America. fucking motorcycle helmet? Yes. Yeah. That was him? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> and. <laughs> I gotta watch he, these now. <laughs> he had a cameo in the 2011 Captain America. What? Yeah. Hey. It was oh. an un, uh, when Stan Lee shows up in that movie, he's like behind Stan Lee in the shot. And Stan did, What's cameo. his name not get a cameo? For, is he, was he alive? Uh, uh, the guy from from the, the one 90s we picked, one. Yeah. Oh, God. What was his name? It was like Spangler. No. It was, no. Uh, oh, shit. <sighs> I know his name too. I know. Fuck. We may need a Captain Google on that if it's important. Shit. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, they, we, mm-hmm. we watched it on this show. You we can go did. back and <laughs> yeah. listen to our Captain yeah. America 1990 <laughs> episode. Mm-hmm. I can't remember his mm-hmm. name. But yeah, Reb Brown was a football player who uh, I think he was like USC That's or something wonderful. like that. Wonderful. I want to. Walmart had those for like five dollars. You could get both those TV movies. Mm-hmm. Fuck! I should have bought them. Yeah. God damn it. Captain America and a fucking motorcycle. No, to see if, do, if he does commentary on those, too. Yeah. Maybe that's what he's doing nowadays, just doing commentary for yeah. his whole it's library. Like, yeah, I had a career, now I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> well, this movie, uh, you know, they keep referring to it as like a B-movie classic. And I mean, granted, that, it is out on Blu-ray. So is where is Blu-ray. the Mystery yeah, wow. Science Theater version of this? It should be. They did a Rift Tracks. Rift Tracks. Okay. Oh, well, that's okay. Did a version Because this was for... Yeah. For the most of the running time of this movie, I'm like, this is like just a step below Star Crash for me right now. Yeah. Like, this is pretty fucking good. Yeah. So it was. Also an Italian film. Yeah. I'm telling you, they have a certain yeah, special. Exactly. Yeah. Matt Salinger. Matt Salinger. There you go. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yep. The other Captain America. Yes. So where do we go after? Uh, so he meets the the blonde woman and uh, what? what what's oh the yeah, plot the blonde woman like in a like he fi- the fire people. This is where we the diseased fire people, the lepers, basically yes, because they are kind of falling apart. And uh, I think uh, she's the only one that keeps them alive. That's why they worship her because of the water, the water from the ice thing that the rest of her people are captured in. Right. So they drink the water. Healing qualities. And she's this seems like a bad it. idea. You've got dead corpses yeah. frozen in water in the desert. Yeah. And you drink it. I mean, I like they, the were, they were drinking dinosaur blood earlier in yeah, the movie. So. That was a good scene. <laughs> yeah. He said, kills the dinosaur, it. stabs it, and they're like, drink this. It's fantastic. He's Burns not like Transylvanian, fire. Colin. He speaks English. <laughs> yeah. He's like, no, he goes, drink. Drink it. And she's like, uh, calm down, dude. The yeah. blood of your enemies give you power. It's like, oh, this is I disgusting. would prefer to stay weak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that guy. See, yeah. so much happened in this movie, I John forgot Carl that Beckler. that even happened. Oh, yeah. Like, like, yeah. That's especially, what I'm saying. Especially <laughs> towards the end, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Okay, so maybe the third, the third, third act, if I can call the it that, has like a an lot. Entire movie yeah, for some reason, yeah, it does. Because this is where the movie goes off the rails. Well, there's also okay. So before we get to the, well, the get third the act, lady. right? We got to talk about the tender love story triangle. It's going on <laughs> tender. It, triangle becomes like a fucking. What, love octagon? Love Rambus. Rambus. Oh, Love Rambus. Yeah, it comes back. It is. It's, it's, it's like Rambai. Yeah. There's many. Yeah. Actually, I think, wait, was there a missed opportunity? No, there wasn't because. Oh, there uh, were missed opportunities. There's the main the main Or one. like misconnect. What's the misconnection? Misconnections? Misconnections? Like, like on Craigslist? Tons of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tons of those. Uh, it looks like. He was frolicking off with a bunch of women at the one point. Yeah. yeah. Interrupted. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think, yeah, because there's the original, the the first girl who falls in love with him from the, from the beginning. That's Kareen. Cleary is her name. Okay. And it was just odd that, you know, right after I had seen this for the first time, I saw this movie uh, called The Devil's Honey, which is a Lucio Fulci, like off the rails erotic thriller from like 1983, probably. And she's <laughs> probably. in that too. And I'm yeah. like, what? how? What's the likelihood that you'd see the same person in a movie? For you? In two, in the same <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. Us, not so much. You, <laughs> the odds go up. Yeah. Uh, so there's she's like devoted to you. Devoted, devoted, because yeah, she's she never seen a da- man like yeah, him. Yeah, she did the dance. Why are you so different from other men? You're that's the dance. She literally does yeah. a, she does the a dance. seductive dance for him. Then he meets the blonde woman who is determined to take him off into a you know like a, we have to go off by ourselves. And I thought she was gonna you know when they got down by the river like we should bathe or something like that. But then that's right, but it's PG, so we can't do that. I feel they would have uh-huh. instead at one they just point, kind of lay at together. one point. Do you think that's his sister? I thought there would that would make more sense. I thought there was a Especially relation. They look so much exactly. alike. Yeah. Earlier on, I'm like, so you guys right. are all related, right? Yeah, I thought that was gonna. I, mean, yeah. I thought that was his mother. Uh-huh. Like, for, like I thought before we met her, that was gonna end up being like, "This is where you come from. I am your mother, and everything." And oh, some sort of like spiritual representation Something, of where he yeah, came where from. He, yeah. Shouldn't, yeah. he shouldn't be fucking her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, exactly. Just say that. Exactly. That, Probably that's the not. I got from him. I'm like, oh man, this is gonna end up being his. It's like, oh, yeah. this is not good. This well, is I was just. I was curious, like, you know, I mean, like, how is this gonna work out? I mean, like, either you're gonna have the cat fight, which I suppose you all you want to have, right? You got these two women fighting over this guy, or are they actually just gonna keep on? on this odyssey like adding to it with more and more characters so there's like a troop of so he's people he's got a fucking woman army behind him yeah I will die for meets, you no I will die for you he meets boy. another woman at some point we oh say it's like a repeat of the first scene he saves this woman and her kids from uh, another paper mache monster oh yeah there's like yeah there's another dinosaur that comes and gets them yeah which and he saves slays the, and yeah, and she's the, like, "I am yours now, forever." Because yeah, you the saved husband's me. just like, uh, "Law requires that now she is yours, and she will be your mate." Hey, very just strange. Like, he what? seems glad to be rid of her. Honestly, he's yeah, like, "Oh, very, he's thank, like, God. He's like, thank God, thank <laughs> God." It's like she is yours, <laughs> <laughs> and the kids. You get to take yes, the kids yeah, too, the children as well. Yeah, <laughs> take the village. Just, a mile down the beach already. Uh huh. But this is where, well, okay, so the, you know, the cat fight does happen where the, the original dark-haired girl... This is not a cat fight. This is attempted murder, Colin. <laughs> she goes straight to... Cat fight like, with claws. How many like, different, you know one of us must die. How many different things does she try to horribly stab in the same way in this movie? Like, what, three times, no, right? She's not three, good. Yeah. She does that, like, overhand. But she announces she's going to do it before she yeah, does she it. She really does. Yeah. Via yell. Kill you or, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not good at it at all. No. Oh, no. so she tries to Thank murder. Thank God Yor came along. Uh, yeah. Murder! And Yor never, uh, does Yor ever, f- find, never finds this out, that uh, she just no. tried to straight up murder. But Yor wanders through the entire movie with the same dumb, like, like <laughs> <laughs> Sean's doing it right now, a brilliant impression of, he just looks happy to be alive. He's smirk on his face. He's Rep- fucking Dudley do right. <laughs> yeah. It's like, huh, what, you want to take me over here? Okay, you want to show me your kids? That's great. Let's go look at your village. Wait, where he's fucking sitting and eating the meat and just, like, his legs are going? Like, he's like, this is a child. This is a man-child who knows nothing but, I will eat, I will fuck your women. This is all he knows. I don't even think he intends to. He just, like, falls into it. No, because people keep offering it to him. Okay. He knows nothing different. He's just like, I didn't try for this. They're just offering me women. Yeah. Yeah. This is his life. Yeah. The fucking bastard. I know. He's a, a very adventurous fellow. Um so the the one the blonde girl dies. 
because she's there all she of a sudden got clubbed in the head. Well, clubbed in the head. That's right. When she gets clubbed in the head. We uh, we're making it sound like she's killed by the uh, the dark haired girl, but no, 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 no. Their fight is interrupted by the cavemen. Yes, they're back. Who uh, who kill her? Who have the actual cavemen clubs? I'm going to point this out. <laughs> the actual cartoon uh-huh. cavemen clubs. Mm-hmm. Boy, do- doesn't like a stalactite fall and hit her in the head too? Was that yeah. what killed her? No. no, no, no. That was earlier. When was earlier. Oh, the frozen, so she has the, multiple the head injuries. The frozen yeah. cave, because it's like there's it's rumbling and there's yeah. there's uh, they're on a fault line throughout yeah. this entire movie, <laughs> and so the, like this like you said the stalagmites are coming down and <laughs> oh yeah. it's in the was, fucking head. It's a frozen cave, but basically the production design designer went through and covered all the rocks with like a saran wrap mm-hmm. or uh, with yeah clear, they're just yeah. shiny yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the cling wrap yeah, yeah. the cling wrap yeah. Mm. And we'll build this wall. Put a dude behind it. Yeah. So it's very, it's a very sad moment when the blonde girl dies, and then uh, it's so very sad. I cried. But yep. when he goes off with the, uh, when he, you know, his troop goes to the village of the next woman that he saves from the giant monster, mm-hmm. uh, something strange happens. Well, because he well, also no, wait, do we miss do we miss her the, fishing, Kala fishing? Yeah, <laughs> I think we missed that part. <laughs> Holy they, shit. they finally make it to the sea, which which Kala has never seen before. And so they make their uh, kind of like an area to rest there. Yor wakes up as fucking Pag is making fish. It's like, where is Kala? She's fishing. Well, and she tries to drink salt water, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, she's spear fishing on the beach. On the like, beach. She's yeah. not in the water. No. Yeah. The no. waves come up to her feet. Like and then 10 feet away again. from the water. Yeah. She's like, yeah. she's fishing. Yeah. She's spear fishing. Oh, Jesus. That's how you do it. I've been spear fishing before. That's how I did it. I didn't catch anything. Uh, I, I'm not surprised. You know Tom Hanks. That's right. So, uh, but the, oh, and also we we kill the main antagonist, right? The uh, the head um, troglodyte gets thrown over the waterfall. I guess a lot of people get thrown over things. Yeah, yeah he does. <clears throat> thrown off cliffs, thrown over waterfalls. And then the third act kicks in, and this is where the movie goes bonkers. So my question to you is, did you see this coming at all, or was this like, what the fucking hell? When they found the talking box, I was just like, all right, I can see where we're probably going to go. Like, this technology is going to show up, but nothing before that would ever give you... I was not prepared for this third act. No, yeah. For as long as it was, for as much as they did, I wasn't prepared for as many capes as there were. (laughs) <laughs> in this third act. What about the back half of Darth Vader's helmet? Were oh, you prepared for that? Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> what? Blatant. You fucking Literally, the ba- you. just the back half. It really is. Because yeah. yeah. you got to you know mess up the front and not have it yeah. so obvious. That That's where ripping. the copyright comes into play. So, right. you know. I was wondering if the title was going to give it away. If you're going to be like, so in the future? Yeah, I, I kind of figured, you know, with the being the hunter <laughs> from the future, that right. uh, something I mean, had everything to, starts to make to pop up somewhere along the The trailer line. gives it away, like, right off the bat. But it turns out, Glad ladies and gentlemen. Anything. The shocking twist is that we are actually in the future, not the ancient past. Dun, and that dun, dun. there was an atomic war that destroyed the entire world, and it is a post-apocalyptic society. Mm-hmm. And your is actually, and the blonde girl are from uh, the survivor. They're like the descendants of the survivors. So got, like separated. Is, but, well, yeah, that's very true. But, but they yeah. have a ship, right, or a big underground base, which is like looks like it's the uh, interior of like a gigantic like water processing plant, <laughs> oil, oil refinery, or something like that. And we know this because all the characters stop and explain this for the next ten minutes of this movie. While action is happening. There are characters just explaining just to you what's going on <laughs> about what's going on and over the all, whole third act, mostly. Most, you know? yeah, most of the third, all the exposition comes in the third act. I well, was that guy. He's like this blind guy who's like the leader of the resistance because we find out that there's an overlord. That's his name, Overlord. Yeah, he's literally who's just played overlord. by a guy in a sorcerer's cloak who With really knight hands. Oh yeah, yep. he's got a suit of armor, hands right, <laughs> and he really knows how to use that cape because he's like swinging that fucking. Thing <laughs> That's what got it, right? him that role. Yeah. <laughs> he came, yeah, he came in a cape. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that guy auditioned in and a cape. He was, yeah, he was swishing and swashing all over the place for that thing, and that got him that role. It's kind of magical. It is. Great. <laughs> I appreciate it. Even when he sat down in the throne, like just getting up there was like swish. And then it yep. was like, ha ha, swish. And he sits down. I was he like, used wow. It very well. Oh, yeah. I appreciate it. Overlord. Why give him a cape if you're not going to use it? 
I always wonder about this too. It's like in these societies, there's like, there's the regular technicians and a blonde woman who I thought for sure was going to end up as part of uh, yours harem. Sure. Uh, because they're doing experiments on him, right? They want to somehow mate uh, him they and need his the uh, seed. Yeah. To produce like some kind of master race or something like they that. They want him or- to inseminate the new koala. What? Koala. Yeah. Sorry. No, no, no. Uh, well, I don't. I think they're going to remake both of them, but I think they want him to inseminate one of the new androids he's working on. That's what I got. One of the ones with the new mask that comes in, not the Darth Vader mask, the other ones who walk in is like, I want you to inseminate one of them to create a new. Impervious to the na- uh, the, the nuclear fallout. Or yeah. Whatever. yeah. I think that's what his main goal was. Yeah. Your seed should be in one of them. But they, they're always divided into like, there's the people who wear the white suits. Yep. And the people who wear the dark, the black suits. Yep. And it's like, well, clearly he's evil because he wears a sorcerer's cloak and he's got stormtroopers. Yes. Yeah. And then the, the good people are like, you know, well, there, there's the blind guy who looks like, I thought he looked like a Doctor Who. He looks yeah, like somebody. Yeah, he did. He looks like, uh, I don't remember the actor's name. Um, He's an old guy. Frank oh. Finlay. No, I don't know. No. Was he in A Christmas Carol with George C. Scott? No. But anyway, this guy is Exposition Man, right? Who has to explain the entire history of the colony, how they got there, how the nuclear fallout affected them all. <clears throat> and, he explains uh, it for the last half hour of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> in nauseating detail. It's fantastic. It's wonderful. This is before the aforementioned uh, swinging across the chasm. <laughs> you know, it is like they saw Star Wars, right? And they're like, that was yeah. one of the most exciting scenes in this movie. Yeah. Is when they swung the across. The two second that. thing where they swung across yeah. the thing. Yeah. Yep. We're going to, we can't afford to do oh that. We'll God. do it with action figures. <laughs> oh, there's a Because the stakes will be the same if it's action figures. <laughs> uh-huh. Colin, Man. one day we can have a company put out a Blu ray of a movie we make with action figures. We have action figures. We can do this. I, if nothing else, from the five, these are inspiring movies. From the That's five right. fucking years, six years, whatever that I've been doing this, I have come to realize we do not need to put any effort into making movies. <laughs> Uh, well, that's in order to make money. That's true. Because in order, clearly in they order didn't. to just be remembered forever, <laughs> to one day some people will buy our Blu-ray and be like, "Have you seen this shit?" Yeah, that could be us. That's right. Look at Kung Fury. Well, they put some effort into it. They're making a movie out of that now. Jesus Christ! They need to not. Yeah, it's got Fastbinder in it. It's gonna be fast yeah, binder. that's gonna change. I'll bet. Yeah. Mm. We were we were looking at his IMDb before we went on Mike. He's not in good shape right now. Uh, He's not in good shape, and there's no way they make a full length movie out of that. Mm. No way. Uh-huh. But that's beside the point. That's yeah, true. Back to your. Yep. So we end up in this uh, this amazing third act of the movie, where the stunts are happening. Star Laser Wars. weapons. Oh, yes. are introduced. Yeah. Slow moving stormtroopers with yeah. brick hands. Yep. Good guys Christ. with red lasers. Good guys with green lasers. I, see, this is what I want to know about these societies, <laughs> how they get broken up. You get to wear the white shirt and carry the green laser. And they all carry their like guns sideways or some kind of crazy shit. Yeah, they all hold it like it's just because I don't understand the doing it for for fuck's sake, like just doing it for whatever reason, having your guns be different. Like you can just have guns with triggers and everything yeah. to shoot people. Yeah. You don't have to have the like a apes side did thing. In Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Because it's basically the same thing happening here. <laughs> basically. Yeah. Um, a lot of people get shot. A lot of robots get shot. A lot of white dudes with blonde hair get shot. Yes. They're very pale. They've that's been underground true. for a they long time. They are all white dudes with blonde hair. They've been underground for a long time, so well, I feel like that's part of the fallout, or at least being... Yeah, they're the mutants? Yeah, basically, yes. Yeah. They're the new race. Yeah. But you're, the of course, flesh. he's... Uh, not going to stand for this overlord's rule. No. Uh, Why would so he? So he takes him on. And there's a climactic battle in a big uh, underground chamber, which That's is That's not really cool climactic. Anticlimactic? It's, kind of, it's just anticlimactic. Okay. There's a yeah. giant flashlight hand. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> there's a spear right. that's oh thrown. Yeah, that's right. Oh, the candy cane in the stomach. Yeah. Tell it's me about really this a, stuff. Really Tell the listeners about this amazing. <laughs> well, I mean, they go after, first of all, they have to, they feel like they need to plant a bomb. To blow up the mechanism that does... 
<laughs> you sound like half the actors in this movie right, right. now. You That's what they like sound the, like when they speak. And the song, for sure. The yeah. Sound. They, so they have to blow up the mechanism in order to stop this whole thing. Uh, it controls uh, many things. So they plant yep. that bomb. This is where the action figure swinging comes in. So gloriously. <laughs> it's wonderful. Please, please watch this. Um, but then they realize that uh, Overlord... Um, is also is going to try and stop the bomb, so they have to try and stop him from stopping the bomb. Yeah. So they follow him. They want to fight him, and uh, Yor uh, goes up to fight him, and he gets like flashlight handed right in the face. Yeah. There's yeah. a whole force thing going uh, well, on. Well, that's yeah. The guy just like lifts up his hand, and he's got a magic like uh, light bulb there, and it's like, oh no, he yes. has a magic light <laughs> Yor bulb. Yor gets, gets blown hand. back. Yeah. Like, there's wind. Yeah. <laughs> There's a whole fan on the other oh, yeah. side of that shot. <laughs> oh, we, did we forget about the fucking mirror room? Oh, oh my god. Oh, See, that's room. what I'm saying. Too much shit happened in this There's third act. Some, like, the third act is an entire movie unto itself. I can't even remember. Like I said, I got to the end of this movie. I forgot that he fought dinosaurs three <laughs> yeah. times in this movie. <laughs> yeah. By the time we got to the there's, end of it. There's a hall there's of mirrors. So much. There's a hall of mirrors. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it's... I mean, you can only get away with so much camera trickery of people being in the same room mm-hmm. <laughs> with that shot. I'll give him credit for hiding the camera, and I didn't see it in any of the but mirrors. But it didn't move. Did yeah, you notice that? It yeah. stayed in one spot the yes, whole time. it did. But also, just That's like, how you do it. You just keep the camera yeah. fixed and move the mirrors, right? Yeah, but there's three shots where those people are standing within two feet of each other, and they're just like, yeah. where are you? <laughs> <laughs> ah, where are you? And they're not reaching out like you would naturally do if you were in a mirror room. They're just... Yep. Looking around, you know, uh, and he's around. and this fucking guy, Reb, he's got that fucking smirk on his face, <laughs> the half smirk, like he's just this close to having fun with what he's doing. Right? Oh yeah, I, that's I, when oh. you're watching him in this movie. Do you think that he had fun making it? I think this, he had the it best time of seems his like life. It, yeah, I think yeah, he had a great definitely. time because I think he was fucking everybody. Uh, on set. <laughs> I swear to God. It, it feels like he's the it. best looking dude in this movie. Like, he had to by be just, far. Like, and they're just all running around barely wearing anything. Barely yeah. wearing anything. You know, the, like the sexy chemistry that's got to be on set for this thing? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, he was fucking everybody. Guarantee it. Yeah. <laughs> He had the time of his life. That's why he did a commentary for this movie, Colin. We yeah. Gotta, now we do have to listen to it. I think like, we do. I bet you he tells I those to... fucking stories. Oh, the I hope so. Oh, I Kareen might be Kareen taking Kareen. this home tonight. <laughs> I want to know what around the thought with of her. the making of this movie. Yeah. Wow. Woo. Yep. I don't even remember Where were how we? he beat know. Overlord. No, he threw the candy cane through him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have to go. He's... It be through it through a freaking elevator because he's your, <laughs> he's your, your. He's like fucking hitting guns out of people's hands. Like no, <laughs> it's like he picked up a javelin that was candy a blunt cane. javelin <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. was, that was candy cane striped and right boom right through the elevator yeah. into the guy's gut. Killed the dude. That well, was yeah. killed him, didn't right? kill him yet. Didn't kill him because oh, he staggers running. around yeah, with that because he breaks it like off in ten forever. minutes. Right, because the elevator still goes up. Yeah, after it breaks, I off thought in that would cut him in two. Of course, as the elevator goes up <laughs> and the javelin's stuck <laughs> in it. But whatever. Oh, that would have been good. Yep. And then well, he gets because the, he has like a magic uh, crystal ball that he's mm-hmm. uh, that he's trying to get back to. No, he's trying to get to the button the, to to detonate the bomb or stop the bomb. He's trying to yeah. stop the bomb somehow. I, it's yeah. not clear. Yeah, it's no, that, they didn't clear that. We're not clear on this because you have to understand, listener. This was a. This is like you have the first three quarters of this movie is like a Conan ripoff, and then suddenly it's like if you took Conan and had him run around in sets from. I don't know Star Wars, not uh, not that good. No, but this is the idea. not even close. You're like all of a good. sudden in like a science fiction. If you had him run around in like a brewery, yeah. Imagine you've traded in your sword for you know uh, a machine pistol, and they all seem to know what's going on. Like the old yeah. guy's like, "Get to the ship." I'm like. Well, how does there's, he a, even, there's a ship. You don't even know what that. There was how an did, explosion. I didn't know there was a ship. How does the old guy know there's a ship? Yeah, there's a ship. They know that they have to get on it. It's that like how he what knew that it there was smoke How does the like guy even people, know what a ship is? They shouldn't yeah. know what these things are. <laughs> Good point. How does he know how how to get on to a ship? That a ship is going. What is a ship going to do? How to get there? Yeah. He doesn't. How does he know how to get there? 
<laughs> it got me, man. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. I got There's nothing. nothing. It's There's nothing because they, they were like, let's just get this fucking movie over with. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone's much someone in the back was just like, it, wrap yeah. it up. Wrap Keep going. Well, so much so that it actually does end with like the ship flying off into the sunset and a voiceover. Like, and <laughs> your did go off it, to. He has a giant explosion, right, freeze because, frames. Oh, shit. He fl- th- that's right. The, the ship flies it's through, through the explosion. Oh, it through, uh, through the most expensive thing in the whole movie, I imagine. <laughs> that giant explosion and then freeze frames. Yeah. Because it's the 80s, and that's how you end things. Uh, oh, well, I mean, <laughs> I know. everything should have that way. I can't <laughs> describe how happy I was <laughs> when that thing flew through those flames. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because you see it flying, it's like a little model. Right? It's a little model. It's a little model. It's a little model. Gas ball of fire. Yes. But I was so happy. I'm just like, <laughs> fuck yeah, that you did that. You accomplished this. You flew a fucking little model plane through a big fireball. And you know what? Bravo. Because mm-hmm. not everyone can Sometimes do that. you just need to have, like, you got to have these moments, like, scattered yeah. throughout your movie. Yeah. You know, you have to have the giant stegos, uh, tyrannum. <laughs> Triceratops, <laughs> Tyrannotrops uh, right? <laughs> you gotta have that you gotta have uh, the hang gliding uh, oh yeah it, right you gotta have um, you gotta big like, explosions you, you, yeah, and flying you forgot walking the, the, the sword lit on fire oh he threw the a fire sword that. That yeah, he's the lord with. of light apparently yep yep I mean, That's the like, and the the uh, the swinging uh, action figures yep. and going through. I mean, like as Gotta long as you moments. have those moments, I think like there, there has to be a formula to this. Of like, what makes a good bad movie and a bad bad movie? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what we're here to. It's find like out. a collection mm-hmm. of this is our life. Goal yeah. at this point, to but we should this know that. Out. That's what I'm saying. We should have like. I think it's an ever evolving process, <laughs> yeah. de- depending on the what movie, level yeah. of bad and yeah. good that we find. Yeah. In I'm these saying movies. there's like you got to have like five good I moments we, in your bad I, movie. Well, I think we could probably narrow it down to certain things at this point. But I there's think always room for discovery of more. Yeah, I think I think the biggest thing is making it in earnest because is what it never is. Never did I see William Shatner with no eyes fighting dudes and then melting <laughs> in yeah. a church. Yeah, and never knew that was going to be part of. A thing, but then I saw that movie and there it was. Mm-hmm. So there's always room for like more. And that's only one of the ways we've seen William Shatner in something bad, good, bad, or bad, bad. Oh, totally. We've Kingdom we, of the Spiders. Well, we've got coming. Kingdom of the Spiders, but we yeah. also watched American Psycho too. Like we've oh, seen right, him yeah. in varying oh, so, degrees yeah, yeah, of yeah. this right? spectrum. Yeah. So there's so much to learn yeah, from William so, Shatner. Yeah. <laughs> so much to learn from this yeah. shit. We're still compiling, and uh, our uh, thesis and book will be out uh, in two years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, got the spreadsheet going. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah the, it's coll- the collecting of data. Right? Yeah. That's what this is. We're just is. gonna have something transcribe these episodes, and we'll collect all this stuff. Uh, in hey man, if it. if WTF and Mark Maron can do it, we can do it too. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I tell you what, we're running a little over here. So what we're gonna do, listener? We are going. I want you to stick with us because we are going to uh, have more your more your more your. Uh, your two more your as we go around the table oh that's the sequel you're gonna find out what th- this is totally set up for a sequel too like isn't that how oh it my totally is. like yeah, yeah. They, they just fly off into the sunset yeah yeah what with a voiceover next? yeah there's no conclusion that, to this movie yeah no, continuing adventures of your oh my why is there your two, the fighting eagle. Your two, the blade master your, your two, your more more back your. to the more, future like more, your, more yeah. your back to the yeah. your <laughs> You are 35 years in the future. Yes. Yeah. You are 2049. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't we can make your now? Yeah, yeah. fuck Blade Runner. I yeah. want more your. I more want more your doing now. You know, they actually did that with a movie of uh, this vintage <laughs> called The Sword and the Sorcerer. Mm. You heard of this one? Sounds yeah. familiar. It was an American yeah. film, Albert Pyun. Pyun? The director Pyun. I know people who are. Working for him right now. Those poor who are making poor movies people. with Apple. Well, he just right recently now. with Kevin Sorbo made a sequel to yeah. The Sword and Sorcerer. It's called like The Tales of Atlantean or whatever. Yeah. Okay. But I mean it was like Fine. 40 if Sorbo's years. in it, fuck that. Yeah, exactly. Years exactly. Fuck exactly. You, Sorbo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we're going to go around the, nowadays. No. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> we're going to go around the table. We're going to tell you what each <laughs> one of us that. thought <laughs> of your The Hunter from the Future. And again, you should listen to this because this is where the action happens, folks, because you have no idea what these people are looking uh, yeah. at right now. We could be all over going, the place. Right right they may love it. They may hate it. This could become like a, a Thunderdome. We don't know. Uh, but first of all, we are going to, as promised before, 
read some of your mail, mail. that you've written into us. So uh, let's get our e- our mailman in here. Let's get uh, Igor. Yeah, Igor. Our Eeyore. Yeah, Eeyore. Igor. She said Eeyore in this movie. I swear to God, she called him Eeyore in this Eeyore. movie. Eeyore. 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 Come, yeah, okay. So Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. Loin cl- loin cloth is not a good choice. Yeah, for yeah. Wig. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's I like out the, the side there yeah. a little bit. Yeah. There's a lot of flapping in the wind. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of flapping yeah. going on. Uh, Shit, Igor. I didn't. I've seen it up fast. <laughs> I don't need to see it anymore. Um, <laughs> leave some things to the American. <laughs> Please do. Jesus. All right, so first of all... <laughs> that sound you hear is Igor dragging it out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right, first of all, a user, a listener called D. Cowell, I hope you're saying, I'm saying your name right, said, I just started listening to, to you guys a week ago, and I'm pretty sure I've listened to almost all of them by now. Oh, uh, really? That's like 200. Wait, when did they, she st- wow. they start listening? Uh, this person? A week ago, because this was a fairly recent comment, I think a couple, a couple days ago on uh, iTunes. I uh, love the work you guys are doing. Keep it up. Also, you should check out the movie The Void. It's a new age throwback to some classics. I kind of want to watch I haven't watched it. Have you? I have. I have seen it. I, I have not seen, seen the movie. It's like The Thing crossbred with Assault on Precinct 13. It's like a love letter to both of those movies, I and would Hell say. Hellraiser? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Lots of That's practical little... effects. Yeah. Yep. But it's from Astron 6? Yeah. The guys who are not necessarily known for their horror movies? Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, I gotta watch it. Uh, Thank it's you. on Netflix right now. So. Yeah, yeah, thanks for the yeah. recommendation. Yeah, because yeah. it that is. Good. I'll get there yeah. at some point. Uh, about your Hunter from the Future, Joey Adams writes in and says, "Mystery Science Theater three thousand is where my love of bad movies comes from. I have somehow missed this movie, though. I'll be checking it out soon. Mm-hmm. Nice. Well, we yeah. remind you that there is well, there's a riff tracks, which is like their spinoff kind of thing. So it's a, it's the same thing basically. Where can you but, find that? That's like on their website. Um, I I mean, you, you can Google buy the DVDs, it. but yeah, there's you I Google I it. You'll, find it, it you'll find it. Yeah, I would like a proper yeah. mystery science theater yeah, episode. They got, of this, they got a new season coming out mm-hmm. this year, so yeah. yours should be one of them. I hope so. I hope so. More Italian movies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's where the money is. <laughs> Um, B Movie Poster Vault writes in and says, I haven't seen your yet, but I'm a fan of The Barbarians from 1987, starring Peter and Paul, a.k.a. The Barbarian Brothers, a film that answers the question, what would it be like if Conan had an identical twin brother and both appeared to be sharing a single brain cell? <laughs> uh, holy shit, I that need to see great. this. Yeah. Barbarian Twin Brothers? I'm done. Oh, yeah. oh, these guys are idiots. Oh, They're I want to see it. Called The Barbarian Brothers. Yeah. Oh, they made a yeah. movie. It's a canon movie. Movie. Oh, Summer, Summer of Cannon, of Cannon. <laughs> coming up. That's right. He says it's gleefully stupid and a lot of fun. Uh, Invasion of the Remake podcast writes in and says, Great minds think alike. We reviewed and, re- the, and remade your just a week ago. Oh, nice. Yeah, so there you Bravo. go. Bravo. I might, I might go listen to that. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm going to go listen to that because I want to know what you thought of this. <laughs> We tried not to listen to it before the show because we didn't want to. Well, I, yeah, right. I don't want to be influenced, yeah. yep. and yep. I also didn't know that you did it because yeah. I'm not in charge of mail. Yeah, that's awesome. That's though. right. Yeah, this I'm, is a surprise to everybody. It Boom. is, but I'm yeah. definitely going to go listen to that. What was it? What was the uh, invasion of the remake? Invasion. Ooh, of the that remake. sounds like a good podcast. Oh yeah, they do. I'm yeah. looking at it now. Yeah. All right. Uh, about the Babadook, Brianna Wellen writes in and says, "I remember having dreams about a Babadook-esque figure as a child. Brianna. Is this a real folk tale or something of the like?" Do you think it's from, like my coworker? From, from what I heard, it is. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Well, I heard that she made it up because she was she was ask actually asking around. Okay, so this is uh, we did the Bab- Babadook last week. Yes, we did. Uh, Jennifer Kent, the the writer director, said that she based the story on something that was happening to a friend of hers who had a, a, a son and some of these kind of uh, you know like her, the temper tantrums and all that. And so she, I think maybe he may have been obsessed with a monster. So she asked somebody, like, what's the name uh, for Boogeyman in, I can't remember if it was Hebrew Mm. or in Romanian or something, and somebody said it was Baba, you know, whatever. Mm. And so she extrapolated, she's Australian, and and it ended Mm. up being Baba Duck. So that's where the name came from, but the figure that appears, you know, in these kind of nightmares, that's why uh, we wrote to Brianna on uh, Facebook. We did. Uh, You should check out a movie called... um, the nightmare 
don't know if any of you have seen it. Is this the it. Netflix thing? It's a documentary. Oh, I still want to watch terrors. this. Oh, yeah, the night it, oh, I've seen yeah, I've heard yeah. about it that. Yeah, fucking horrible. But like, yeah. if you ever seen that story, it gets circulated every couple of years about there are people all over the world that dream of the same man's face. Mm-hmm. Have you seen that? Mm-hmm. There's yeah. uh yeah, it's, it's the, the guy the with the top hat. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's like there's a this po- like police grade sketch that is on the internet, and people all over the world have dreamt of this man, and he's never been able to be identified. Yeah, but think, people dream call, of this I think same they call face. Him the, the bloody face man. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's like it's and. So, I mean, it, maybe it could be something sort of like that, where it's like this collective subconscious thing, yeah, you know? Supposedly his face is all bloody and he wears a top hat. Mm-hmm. And Jesus. It's, and it's a lot, it has a lot tied to the the night terrors. Mm-hmm. This guess, might have been what you were thinking oh, of, Brian. Yeah. It's a fucking nightmare. All right, uh, Sean's, Sean's having a hard time. I'm all for, I'm, no, no, I'm all for just like... Yeah, I want to be devastated right now. Like that's, that's the kind of that's the mood I'm in. Yeah. Like, break me down. I want to see some shit that's well, just going to leave me in shambles. I haven't seen this shambles. movie, but I've heard the nightmare is yeah. the one to watch because they yeah. say it's it's really yeah. scary. I gotta watch that movie, and it's a documentary. So yeah. Like, um, about our episode two episodes ago, the Wicker Man, Stanislav Poten- Potenin. Uh, sorry if I got your name wrong. It says the original Wicker Man is a perfect classic horror movie. Great director's work and really cool visual effects. There were visual effects. Also, actors are master of their work. One of the best movies. Stanislav. Yeah, yeah. it's a good one. The that style is. Uh, I mean, from a guy, like from a guy is... named Stanislav, that that's. Uh, I mean, I, I I'll uh, believe everything he says. Yeah, <laughs> like, that seems like he's uh, just that name alone is connected yeah. with. Uh, I get just, what he's saying, though. Just every, the film history. <laughs> like, yeah. That is the guy. The yeah. visual style of that movie is, is good and interesting. Uh, Chris Huddleston writes in and says... Chuds. Chuds. I'm sure there Chuds. are people somewhere who like the Wicker Man remake, which got me thinking... <laughs> no. No, there's not. Nope. Are there movies you each le- legitimately enjoy in a non-so-bad-it's-good way that are universally panned? And wasn't his other question okay? The I, I, it was yeah, it was the, the opposite. Side. So it was yeah. it was movies everyone loves that you hate, and ev- movies everyone hates that you love is yeah. what he was basically asking. Yeah. So we go around the room. Yeah. Uh, I show. told him that it was just everyone seems to love uh, the movie Office Space. I don't like that movie. And what do you love that everybody else hates? Come back to me. H two O. I do love H two O. Does everybody hate that movie? I, I love. Oh, that movie. I mean. Not as much as they hate the other, some of the other Halloween. I've, movies, uh, but. I think me and Colin have this have had this conversation. I've watched it recently, and it clicked to me why other people would not like that movie, mm-hmm. or why it would be a subpar movie. And I understand that. I'm just like, oh, I saw it in that light, but I still fucking love that movie. All right, all right. So movies that I love, or no, that everyone else loves that I hate: Scott Pilgrim versus the World. I oh, that. I, I hate like, that movie. I fucking hate that movie. It's really? a trash movie. Uh-huh. It is, oh, yeah. it is oh, yeah. by by and far Edgar really? Wright's worst movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I <laughs> yeah. like, like that movie. Like, on, honestly, it turned see it turned me <laughs> off of Edgar Wright for a long time. Honestly, oh. I was like, this guy is overrated. But this the movie's people terrible. Who love that movie are obsessed with it. Love that. Yeah, movie. Yeah. Like yeah. That, that movie's. Movie. I hate fucking hate that movie. Yeah, um, Why do you hate it? It it's off putting. It's bad storytelling. It's like the characters. Yeah, there's women are literally collected as prizes in that movie. Movie. There are so many problems with that movie. I mean, maybe I haven't analyzed it <laughs> enough, but I like um, that movie. Another one is V for Vendetta. I just could not get in that movie. I don't enjoy it. The storytelling. I'm not a fan. It doesn't look like. I don't have the same burning hate for that one. I did. I as I do Scott Pilgrim. But God yeah, damn, I'm not a fan. Right. And movies that I love that everyone else hates. Is I like Rob Zombie's Halloween too. <laughs> I actually really like it. I know it's not a good movie, but Burn, I, do en- I do enjoy Michaela. it. Uh. Yeah, uh, and I actually really like The Phantom Menace. But I was also the same age as the main character when oh, I saw uh, it, so uh, I mean, you know, it was sure. an access point for I'm me. Gonna, so I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna fault anyone yeah. for a Star Wars love. Yeah, that yeah, seem fair. Yeah. I mean that's a good so, point. Star Wars is kind of like a like yeah, a untouchable like, zone in yeah, that it's sense. Just like, all right. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. What about no, you, Nick? Yeah. All right. Um, this is kind of throwing at me here a little bit, mm-hmm. but uh, <laughs> I would say the one that a lot of people pan that I watch constantly is House of a Thousand Corpses. Um, a lot yeah. of people don't like that one, but love Devil's Rejects. I would sooner have House of a Thousand Corpses more than Devil's Rejects. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. As for a movie that everyone loves, I won't say I hate it, but I'm not a huge fan of it, is 
Star Wars, anything, you know, Star Wars just loses it for me. It's not for everybody. Yeah. You I know, think me and Colin have discussed you know, I, I, that I, I it like the, I like the aspect us. of Star Wars, you know, yeah. like the, I, I, I'm, I, I like some of the video games that come out for it and stuff like that. Or, you know, they may be but, more interesting. But if, if I have to sit characters. down and actually watch the movie and try to get what's going on, just kind of loses me a little bit. We did Star Wars math, I think, Sean. We, we did. For that? Yeah, yeah no, we did the math, and it turns out there's more bad Star Wars than good. Oh, yeah. So. yeah. A lot yeah. more. Yeah. So It's like when you factor uh, in the TV yeah, stuff. Yeah, when you do all that stuff, it's just yep. like... And the remake. We don't like uh, Star Wars. Yeah. We like a few Star Wars So things. we shouldn't yeah. be we, so outraged when there's a bad one, because there's been so many bad, bad ones. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> According to us, anyway, this is your uh, mileage may vary. Yeah. yeah. But and according by that, to us, we're meaning, like, nobody liked the special editions kind of thing. Like, you know. We yeah. t- that, literally that, every yeah. iteration of Star Wars, yeah, yeah, we took into account for that. And yeah, the TV specials, yeah. yeah. And, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, mine would be, well, I know what my uh, legitimately enjoy in a non-so-bad, it's a good way, I get shit for this all the time, but I really like the Nicholas Wolfman. Winding Reference, oh, no. Only God Forgives. Oh, my God. oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I oh, love God. that movie, and uh, I've seen it multiple times and love it, and everybody else hates Lord. it, and I don't understand that at all. <laughs> and on the flip side, a uh, movie that I don't like that everyone else loves, well, this is no uh, surprise to anybody who's been listening to the show for a while, but I hate Home Alone. I hate that movie. I hate that movie. <laughs> <laughs> that movie. And everybody else is telling me that that kid's so cute. And like, no, we just got to kill that kid. We have to string him up and burn him. Uh, what about the sequel? Home Alone 2. <laughs> I just haven't gone back to that one. So it doesn't uh, burn I, I, as uh, bright a hole. Or whatever, that, yeah, you know? that is a, that is a, well, that's Colin hates joy. <laughs> Basically. That's, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, Goddamn. All right. So I guess that means uh, now it's time for the moment that you've all been waiting for. Your. Find out what we thought of your... The Hunter from the Future. Sean, what did you think of your The Hunter from the Future? <laughs> um, I'm going to recommend this movie because it is, like I said before, as of right now, this is maybe a step or two below Star Crash for me because there is just some ridiculous shit in this movie. And I appreciate it for what it does because it's... It's Star just, Crash is the bar. Star, Cra- yeah, Star Crash is the bar. Like, that's the shit. Like, I'll go back and watch Star Crash right now. You got to tell people how we came about because we're many years on for that. We did a show on it, but how did you, how did we come across Star Crash? I mean, I came across it because of you. Uh, of the tra- it was a. We, oh, yeah. The, 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 yeah. Because Colin plays the, uh, he's got the DVD full of like trailers of like 70s and 80s. Like movies. drive in movies. Yeah, drive in yeah. movies that, he, that we'll just play in the background. And then, you know, Star Crash comes up. So it's, you get all these trailers and you're just like, that looks interesting. You're just like, that looks like some shit. And so every now and again, we pick something from those DVDs. And uh, with Star Crash, we fucking ran into a goddamn gem with that one. That one uh, has been covered by Mystery Science Theater. Yes, it has. Yep. And uh, that one I'll, I will, uh, I think me and Colin will go to the grave defending as one of the <laughs> best bad movies that has yeah. ever been created. Oh, yeah. And as uh, one of the funnest things you will see. Um, uh, I, <laughs> I had a lot of fun watching your tonight because of its fucking ridiculousness. Um, <laughs> there's... It's, oh God, it's hard to explain. There's no, like, there's no, it's not what you get from a usual movie. There's no character development. There's nothing of that sort. It's just, you got Yor, you got Kalana, you got people offering their women to Yor. Like, it's just, it's fucking weird. And where it ends up later on, we end up in a Star Wars movie later on in this movie. (laughs) Like, it's just, it's from start to finish. It's just, it's a crazy movie. It's a weird movie, but it's fucking fun to watch just because again there's a sincerity to it where these people were making they were making a movie and based off whatever but you got these people who are just putting their hearts into making this stuff uh reb man reb goes a long way because he's he's fucking dedicated to this he's got that smirk on his face he's an all-american man just making a movie and fuck it's entertaining and ridiculous, and I recommend this movie because it's so fucking ridiculous. Watch this movie. I recommend it, Michaela. I, I can't. I, there's not. I just. It's fucking. It's weird. It's the they they just make shit like this, are or they gonna, used are you to. Gonna order this movie like as soon as you leave here. Oh, it's not that much. No, okay. no, no. But 
I do want to watch it with this commentary. Uh, like I will yeah, watch this again same. and listen to this commentary. <laughs> I want to know what Reb has to say about this movie. I also want to know when he recorded this commentary. Mm-hmm. It feels like it's more recent than yeah. later. I, it had to have been for the Blu-ray release, right? I would like, guess so, yeah. But I definitely... Because it says I, it's new. It's not for the yeah, DVD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I will watch this again. Mm-hmm. Michaela. Uh, yeah, if if mystery science theater type movies are your brand they movies, should this, do this, movie. uh, this this is the ultimate as far as that goes. Like, if you can watch those kinds of movies, you got to watch this one. I would definitely recommend it. I I mean, this is like I feel like it's a good hangover movie. I feel like it's a good get with your friends and get drunk and make fun of it movie. Like, it's a good drive-in movie. Like, I don't feel like there's really a wrong way to watch this. No, like, even the way Colin came across it, because if you just put it on and do shit, and then you're just like. Wait, what are they doing? Yeah. Wait, how yeah. did they get here? It's a good cleaning the house movie. Uh, because yeah. Because if you look away for like five minutes, you come back to a completely yeah. different and then movie. Said yeah. Something awesome. Yeah, because like, I don't yeah. know. What? That's what happened. I was yeah. like, wait, what? <laughs> Why are we here? Yeah. yeah I'm like, did yeah. they get beamed off the. Yeah. yeah. I feel like even watching this on a plane, like, I'd be down for a flight where I get to watch this on a plane, yeah. you know? Like, I feel like there's not really a bad situation to watch this movie in. Uh, so I definitely recommend it. I really want a full blown Mystery Science Theater episode on this movie. I, I oh, need it. I Hopefully, in the new season, that this will be one of them because this is right in their it wheelhouse. Uh, yeah, I, de- I, I, I can't, you know, Sean said it perfectly, so I would definitely recommend it. Nick, what did you think? All right. Um, yeah, so I was a last second add to the show tonight. And uh, when you said we were watching your <laughs> from the future. You're like, oh, I, I know that movie. Yeah, I texted you back. I'm like, <laughs> this sounds like a bad movie. I'm probably going to like it. <laughs> uh, yeah, and recently I just went back through and listened to some older podcasts and that just to see you know where I stand on what I like and what I don't like down here at the Freak Show, and I was split down the middle. I was, yeah. well, I'm twelve for twelve down here. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's gonna push me either way, and uh, I will Ooh. have to say that I will recommend your. Yeah, it's, it's it's a fun movie. Um, yeah, it I. I just, these are the kind of bad movies I like, you know, like the the, the Frogman movie we watched the one time we were down here. Oh, Hell Comes to Hell Frog comes Town. Ooh, with Town. Rowdy Rowdy yeah. Piper, yeah. yeah. No, that was that was awesome. This is awesome. Um, just the schlock like that just keeps you entertained. And you posted on Facebook uh, when you're talking about this movie. You're like, uh, what makes you like bad movies? Uh, bad movies are for when. You know, after a hard day at work, your brain is mush. You got done with the kids. You're finally getting to sit down. Uh, and, and I want to see somebody else who worked just as yeah. hard, but fucked it all <laughs> exactly, up. Exactly yeah. right. <laughs> you know, you don't want to. Th- you don't want to think too much. Yeah, you don't want to think too much. So you just pop in a movie like this, and you kind of just m- meld out for the rest of the night. Right? Yeah, and and at least I didn't do that bad. This is good escapism. No, like, it really yeah. is. And yeah. that's why I like to circle the bottom rungs of like Netflix and Hulu and stuff like that for movie, <laughs> t- movies like this. And I, I definitely say go out and watch it uh, and you'll have fun with it. Yeah. Colin, your pick. What did you think? Yeah, well, I mean, I picked it because I what I what I saw of it, um, you know, when I was watching. What do you mean? No, so or so you didn't like. How much do you th- do you think you watched of this movie when it first was like I, I had on your on, TV, I had but not paying work. attention to? <laughs> what? Oh, oh okay. had it on work because I, yeah. yeah. I asked a dude to borrow sure. a friend of mine to borrow it, and he gave it to me, and I'm like. I'm not going to actually take this home and watch it. <laughs> wow. He doesn't want to. I don't want to watch it. Wow, that's saying something for day. you to not want to watch. It's wow. Like, I got to get through this. So I'll just about put it, you know, it's like, yeah, this is buyer's remorse. I'll put it on and, you know, have it on. And, you know, I would wa- look over there. You know, you're hearing it, but you're not really focused yeah. on it. And you'd look over every once in a while. I was like. Oh, there's a gigantic, like, uh, paper mache <laughs> dinosaur. I haven't seen that. There's a pterodactyl thing happening. I mean, now, like, now they're shooting lasers yeah, at each I, other. It seems yeah. like I was looking over when stuff was happening where I'm like, this movie is fucking bad shit insane. And I think, you know, this is the thing, I mean, this is what we talk about, like, often on the show, it seems like. It's like there are bad movies that are not too far off of this movie in their quality and construction and all that, right? Where you sit there and you're like, 
I'm just not feeling this, you know, and this is, it's landing, it's going over with a thud and you're sitting there going like, it's boring as hell. And I want out and when's it over and fast forward or eject or whatever. And then there's these other movies that hit this sweet spot. Now, again, I think, yeah, I, you know, my bar also, I think was set with star crash where it just seemed to have like, I think it was a, it was a, the fact that, uh, with that movie, there was a lot of change of scenery. This mm. also was also the thing with uh, helps, yeah. with uh, Devil's um, Rain. Also, it was like it would change every ten fifteen minutes. It's like now it's a western. Yeah. Now there's a flashback yeah. to you know whatever, and it's ridiculous because Ernest Borg <laughs> it's in a you know, and yeah. then now it's like there are people melting. I mean, it, they keep your interest engaged that way because it keeps. It's like you're channel surfing through the movie itself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very true. And this one, I don't think, you know, like the, I guess the hero's journey storyline or whatever, right? Where we're going on the Odyssey. And so we're going to start in one place and we're going to end up in some other very different place. And in the meantime, we're going to eat meat, you know, cannibals <laughs> or fire people or, you know, what, you know, monsters or cavemen. Then you have to go through these different environments. It kind of gives that kind of the variety to it. You know, it seems like a lot of these 80s movies, because, I mean, I mentioned Space Hunter before, and that does the same thing, where it's like a guy and a girl, it's Peter Strauss and Molly Ringwald, have to go fight a guy named Overdog instead of Overlord, and they have to go through all these different, like, traps and, you know, and different... Uh, I'm sorry, this is the first mention of this movie with Molly oh, yeah. Ringwald. What's, oh, yeah. What yeah. is this? It's Space Hunter, Adventures in the Forbidden Zone in 3D. I can't okay, find a 3D right, version, yeah. but guess who put oh, out yeah. the Blu-ray? It would be Mill Creek. Oh, uh, Mill Creek. They'll yeah. put anything on Blu-ray, huh? Anything. This, uh, is, this yeah. is how Kathy's Curse comes about. That's right, yeah. Yeah. And sometimes you just got to track these things down. This yep. wasn't what I w- initially planned to watch this month, but after seeing it, I'm like, and because of the tie-in with the green slime. I mean, sure. I'm, I think yeah. I'm going down a rabbit hole at this point, so uh, I'm just going to follow this and see where it leads. But uh, <laughs> I guess here's the thing. Uh, I think the wrong way to watch this movie is if you're actually expecting, like, a movie. Yeah, right. Like a real. Do do you really walk into a movie called "You're the Hunter from the Future" and think that you're going to get a an award winning movie? I think that's a good point. point. That is a good point because you are warned off right by the title. I think you know what you're in for. But see, the other thing is, I think there's so many of these movies. Like I just read off that was from 1983. Just the Italian movies of this type. I didn't read off. Like the 10 other American or Spanish, you know, the warrior and the princess with David Carradine or, you know, I mean, like Barbarian Queen with the, I think they had two Playboy Playmates. In it. I mean, like, Whoa. there's just a whole shitload of these type of movies. Hold on, let me update my list. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there might be a Barbarian Queen too. Also, uh, Whoa. Death Stalker series, right? Anybody the, the, Death yeah, Stalker? Death Stalker. All right. So there's a I'm ton of you. these, right? So it's like, how do you determine which ones are the ones to actually watch and which ones are the ones to Well, when avoid? they give you a title that also includes Your. Hunter from the future. <laughs> yeah, if you call yourself <laughs> you the Hunter from the future, was just, <laughs> if it was just your, yeah. if it was just your, you'd be oh, like, okay, oh, that's yeah. the problem with gore. And, and, but right, but gore, does, does gore doesn't have a subtitle, does he? No. No, we need well, gore. The sequel to. is the outlaw of gore, but the first Ooh. one's just gore. Uh, you know, you need but it is a guy, that. he's like a college professor, and he goes back in time or something to an alternate universe where it's like uh, that Den, the story from Heavy Metal, where the mm. kid goes back and becomes like a barbarian. Be like the, Gore, traveling teacher for the future. Some, something. He needs a subtitle. <laughs> needs something, yeah. Gore. That's why Space Hunter works, right? Adventures in the Forbidden Zone. Eight yeah, Ator, the Fighting Eagle. I want to see that movie. <laughs> Nobody saw Conquest, but you should because the guy's got a fucking uh, like, uh, lightsaber bow. <laughs> Ooh. And the villain is a topless woman with a metal, uh, like gold um, helmet. This is your next pick, yes. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> there's just too many movies to cover. <laughs> so, and yeah, now, now I'm talking about it. It's like, shit, I've seen a bunch of these. Um, but your is, uh, I think it's hitting that sweet spot of um, there's enough crazy shit that you cannot believe it. You cannot believe that you're seeing them actually use like, oh, action right figures yeah. in, the, <laughs> in the model shots. Oh, my God. I think there was a scene, because there's also like Some a big, a big moment where a cave gets flooded. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure they're using, uh, like, matches as the torches. Yeah, that's what it in, felt like, uh, right? It was, uh, you know, they yeah, have yeah, to yeah, be, yeah, you yes. Gotta see but see, this is like, you can't take, you're watching this ironically. 
That's how these movies work. You watch them ironically because you come home and you're tired and you put it on. And you're like, I am not expecting mm-hmm. this to be serious. No. And so you are you are kind of uh, finding something humorous in somebody else's <laughs> hard work. However, <laughs> yeah. Antonio Margaretti Margaret. has been interviewed about this movie because, like I said, this was his most successful uh-huh. and probably the movie he's the most famous for. Uh, he said it was uh, amazing. And to him, it was like this movie had no budget. And it's a party movie, and he actually says of his movies he enjoys watching this one every once in a while. Well, good. So good. Hopefully, yeah, you just don't yeah, take it yeah, seriously. He's reali- yeah, he's realized you can't take it seriously and to enjoy what you've made. Yeah, I think you should see if you're into that type of thing. If you, you enjoy what you've heard tonight, then you are already in the audience for you. Got to go see your. Or, you know, buy your blind buy it. Your, Just milk creep. Give them your probably. money. Get it on Amazon. It's probably like five bucks. Who yeah. knows? I borrowed it. Probably but, do that. Yeah. So that's uh your that's a recommendation for your 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 and we'll probably, we'll probably play you out with the uh, the theme I mean, music. We might. No. You, you don't promise these things, Colin. When I've okay. already deleted them. I know because I, now I'm going to engage nope, your brain. No, nope, it's done. Because now I, I was on to Captain America. We need to find out whose move, whose pick is it next week? Whose movie are we going to be watching? Sean. Oh shit! <laughs> God. <laughs> Holly's is lighthearted when she yells at me. <laughs> Michaela yells just, at me. Uh, I don't get to do it very often, so I got to so get it out while I like, can. Yeah. Um, next week we're gonna watch. I had I had thought about something else. Michaela, you push me over the edge. Well, you push me over for Baba Duke, so we're even then. All right, I you think know? so. Uh, we're gonna watch Valentine. All right. I've never With seen this David movie before. Boreanaz. David Boreanaz and everyone else. That it's a fucking nineties slasher movie. Michelle Traberhagen. No, that's it's not got, her name. Trackenberg. It's, it's she got. It? Uh, uh, what's her name? Um, from Wild Things. Why don't I, Nev Campbell. No, no, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Denise Richards. Denise Richards in it, right? That's right. Because yeah, Denise Nev Richards. Campbell's in Scream. Well, I think it's got. Uh, um, what's her name? Uh, it's got a lot of people I can't remember right now. But it's a '90s slasher movie. I'm, I'm which sold. Means it. From zero, the same director, right? From yeah. the same director as Urban Legend. All right. Blanks. Yep. I've actually seen this movie at the movie theater. So I saw this. I'm pretty sure I saw this movie once, but it has a reputation. Oh, you got to tell me about that. Not and now. We'll, next no, week. no, no. We'll get into it next mm-hmm. week. Okay. But we're going to watch Valentine. It's a little late for the holiday, but will it still be in February when it comes out? I don't know. Uh, maybe not. I don't maybe know. not. We'll but it. well, it's evergreen. It's yeah, I, probably. Yeah. Like I think it needs to be covered on the yeah. freak show. Yeah. Okay. So there it is. We'll be watching Valentine. All right. Well, that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. Thanks for listening this long. And until then, the basement is going dark. <laughs>